I did it! 1,405 Apple feedback, yay! Guys, I wanted to share with you, I am just so excited. Um, mainly I'm excited because I just love, love, love this job. And I love the kids that I'm able to work with and the kids that I'm able to serve. And I love being able to help other teachers love this job as much as I do. Did you catch the theme? Love, love, love. Um, I have already done one video on how I got 1,350 Five Apple feedback. And I'm going to be changing that number to 1,400. But this is going to be volume two because I want to share a few more things that I think will help you increase your five apples. So guys, my name is Paige Howell. Welcome to my channel. My channel is all about helping teachers become the best online ESL teachers that they can be and helping them to grow their business. And getting more apples helps you grow your business. We all know that. The more that our families see that we're doing a good job with lots and lots of apples, then other families are going to be like, wow, I want to get um, her as my teacher. I want to work with him as my teacher. So I'm going to review just very quickly a little bit what was in volume one. But if you haven't watched volume one, please hop back in and go watch volume one. There's some tips in there that you'll really want to see. I'm going to start out with what I still feel like is 100% the most important way to get Five Apple feedback and that is to deliver an outstanding class. All of our magic happens in the classroom, guys. It happens as we build rapport with our students, which I covered in that lesson as well. It happens when we're smiling and we're welcoming and they're like, I love Teacher Linda. Yes, I go by Teacher Linda at VIP Kid. And they want to come back to us, so they rebook. I talked a lot about smiling, 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 smiling. It goes a long way. It helps you be welcoming in your classroom. And a smile can just make someone else's day. It can make them smile as well. Make this fun for them, and they're going to want to come back and work with When you deliver an outstanding class, those parents are going to feel like shouting from the rooftops about you that's going to get you more five apple feedback and then asking for five apple feedback always asking go and watch the other video because i have a template that you can download and you will be able to see exactly what i say i don't actually ask for five apple feedback i ask for feedback and i'll show you that in volume one so go check it out i'll pop it up here so you can click it to it very quickly. Volume number two, what am I gonna share with you? What I'm gonna share with you are a couple of tips that I use and I believe that they help me, they do help me, I don't believe it, they do help me increase my five apple feedback. I set goals for myself. I set a goal each month of how many five apple feedback that I want. And typically that's gonna be, I'm going to shoot for 50% of however many classes that I am planning to teach that month. I try and stay consistent in how many um, classes that I teach in a month. So I try and set the, the goal tends to be the same. Now, if I'm teaching more classes like I did in March, I'm gonna raise the bar because I want to get more Five Apple feedback from my families. So I set the goals and guess what guys? Then I involve the parents with my goals. I let them know that I have set a goal for myself. So in the feedback, I will say to them, I have a set a goal of reaching X amount of five apple feedback for the month of fall. I would love it if you could help me reach my goal. Guys, when parents love you and you are one of their regular teachers, they want to help you. So they are going to go boom, 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 and you're going to see your numbers shoot up. So I want you to try that. Involve the parents. If you have parents that are your friends on WeChat, don't hesitate to pop on there and say, guys, I've set a goal for myself this month. I am trying to get X amount of five apple feedback. Can you show me some love and help me out? I love five apple feedback and I post that and then I just put a little note with it. Guys, my goal for the month of March is to get X amount of five apple feedback. I hope that you will show me some love and help me out. And guess what guys? Here come the apples. 
And then something I really wanted to share with you all that if you have a student that you've taught maybe 30, 40, 50 times and have not gotten any feedback from them, they may not know how to give feedback. So I just recently learned this from one of my regulars who I never get feedback from. And after a point, I, I, I still put it in my little tagline every single time. This particular family was not, or were not WeChat friends. So the only way I had to communicate with them was in my feedback and um, I hadn't gotten any. Well, about two weeks ago, all of a sudden, I got like 20 something Five Apple feedback from this family with a note that said, I am so sorry. I had no idea how to give feedback. They didn't know how to give feedback. So when we first get on our portal and are learning how to use it, there's parts of it that we don't know how to use. So they were learning too, and they did not know how to give feedback. So I would suggest that if you're not getting feedback from somebody that you've taught over and over and over again, just put a little note to the learning partner that says, you know, hey, would you mind showing this family how to give feedback? I would love to hear from them if there's anything that I can do to better help their child learn how to speak English. Also, in your feedback to the parent, put, if you don't know how to give feedback, please ask the learning partner. They'd be glad to help you. So that's another trick to help you get some Five Apple feedback. So guys, we all know not all parents read their feedback from us, although we've put lots of thought, lots of love, lots of energy into providing them with great feedback. Not all parents read those. I will hold this up as another tool for encouraging them to give me Five Apple feedback. I love Five Apple feedback. And close out the lesson like that. Why am I even talking about getting Five Apples? Five Apple feedback helps to increase your bookings. It's not just about the, oh, look at me, I'm a great teacher. It is about increasing your bookings. And guys, we don't make money at VIP Kid if we don't get any bookings. I have a workshop on how to get more bookings and that link is below if you're interested in it. I do talk more about Five Apple feedback and how important Five Apple feedback is to your bookings. It's just, we use the same system, guys. Let's say you're looking up something on Yelp and you wanna try out a new restaurant. If it doesn't have very many five apples, you may not try it. But if it has a lot of five apples, then you feel like, oh, wow, people must really like this place. I'm gonna go try it out. They are the same, guys. Lots of five apple feedback means a pretty darn good teacher and they want to be a part of that for their student as well. Guys, don't forget to check below in the description box. You can get one of these for your class. Okay guys, those are some more tips on how to get Five Apple feedback. I love Five Apple feedback. So please hit the like button, subscribe, and comment below. What are some things that you do to get Five Apple feedback? Do you think Five Apple feedback is important? Guys, happy teaching, happy day. Hope to see you soon.